uh, keeps Ecuador in your heart? What makes Ecuador the individual experience that it was that stood out above the rest? Do you guys want to just stand up? Yeah, so yeah, it's cold, first of all. It's cold. <laughs> it's cold. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. Yeah. Um, well, for me, it was my first trip, and I was like grade nine, like mad young. I was super like psyched. I was on the show and super nervous about it. I'm going on a trip with like Degrassi cast. It was a big deal. I, didn't feel, I wasn't one of you guys yet, so it was kind of, I guess, the process of becoming a bit of a family. I think he captured it pretty nicely there. I mean, like, to say one thing, it would be almost impossible for me, but just sort of like seeing how everyone sort of got along, and as opposed to the first trip, it was a group, it was the biggest group, I think. This year. Unless this, this year, did this year beat that? Yeah. This trip was the biggest group of um, nice. Degrassi cast together, and so, you know, I was thinking before that maybe it won't be like that sort of nice, small dynamic we had when we went to Kenya, but it, but it was its own thing. It was, it was, Amazing. Yeah, I still haven't forgotten. Also, I like the uh, the like cultural experience in every trip was so different and distinct. And like I think this one, what I always remember is like all the beautiful colors. Like you saw what people wore in the in the villages, and it was like uh, really just beautiful visually. We also ate guinea pigs, which you don't see in this documentary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we, you know that definitely stands out in my head. Oh yeah, like it's like, not good cheese. <laughs> Do any of you have questions that you'd like to ask? Yes. Um, I know that most of you went to India. So what did you learn in India, um, learn in Ecuador that you didn't learn in India? <laughs> <laughs> that was cold. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't cold in India. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll say this. In India, we were in one spot for most of it, right? Yeah, in Kenya as well. In Ecuador, we moved around, so we got to see uh, sort of Quito, which is like very European kind of look, and then we were uh, obviously at the village, and then afterwards we went to the cloud forest, which oh, is like cool. incredible. We saw toucans and hummingbirds and everything, and uh, lots of nasty bugs. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that was kind of nice to get to see. Oh my god, my flies! <laughs> <laughs> see how what we had done two years ago uh, changed. And, you know, and the mural is still good. It's got like a gold tint now. It's like, <laughs> the wall isn't white as gold. And, uh, and I got to experience that cold again that I never forgot. It's not as bad as this right now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, and, and I got to see that they've, uh, they've built a high school now, the first high school in that community. Yeah, I was standing like right across from where we did the mural, so I mean that community is just seeing a lot of change, and I'm sure that if I were to go back in two years again, it would just be uh, a lot of other things that will have changed, and it will be great to see. Yeah. Yeah, it's the this is and then it doesn't address any question at all. But it's, cool. <laughs> it's, cool. it's cool that like to see like I, like we all know, or maybe we don't, but we know we're the children's uh, like kind of model with like alternative income, health care, uh, clean water. Um, and, and obviously, uh, brick by brick, like to build a school. But then you get to, like in Kenya, I think the whole thing is fully functional. Oh my God. It's, it's like there are maybe a few communities that are fully functional in all of those um, aspects. And like it should happen probably, like it sounds like it's going to happen soon in Ecuador. It's cool that like the whole, the whole foundation of Free the Children is happening like in different places. Like we're, but like we were hoping. And it's a state. It's within our lifetime. Yeah, yeah. Just to add on that, actually, I was just in the same community, San Miguel, um, in December, and we were able to build like a water station. So that was just kind of an amazing yeah, thing. So right, right by the uh, old high school, or the new high school, sorry, we were able to build a, you know, a water station where people can come wash their hands. Uh, we saw them in the video washing in a bowl. Um, so now they're kind of developing on that and learning. So exactly like you say, all the four pillars are kind of coming all together now. So it's really cool. Yeah. The high school thing's cool too because like 
It makes me think that the kids that we met while we were there exactly. won't have to drop out at a certain point. Like they can keep going. Yeah, that's a great point. I mean, a lot of a lot of these kids are just stopping after kind of grade six, grade seven. And they're not getting any more education. So to have that opportunity to actually go further is something that's brand new for them. Yeah, we have another question. Uh, where did you guys stay when you guys went to Ecuador? It was a 45 minute drive. It was like a, a hacienda. Yeah, it's a hacienda. Yes. Yeah. just didn't know who was exactly. The history behind it. Yeah, it just, so the hacienda is like a, kind of an old system built in from when the Spanish kind of took over um, Ecuador when they came and conquered the land. Um, so they were able to, you know, we, we work with the government now um, in Ecuador who actually owns the hacienda and we stay there. We have a great relationship with them and, and it's actually like 45 minutes away from San Miguel. Um, so it's really, really cool. There's, and it's fully functional. There's beds and there's, you know, a full kitchen and then we have some great ladies that work there. And, I mean, they have their own farms and everything there, so it's, it's really neat. Uh, and then in, in Quito, we obviously we just stayed at a hotel that's uh, in the old part of the city. Any other questions? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you like um, learn like a, like a, like something? Not something. Something like you know how they teach you new stuff. Like let's say like songs or something. Did you learn any like anything like that? Sort of like their tradition or something do, yeah, like that. that yeah. Regularly. Yeah. Every day they sort of bring you. Uh, <laughs> through to somewhere where you can sort of learn how people do a certain thing. So this, this time when I went around, we learned about, uh, we, had, we had a whole bunch of stations about, uh, there was like knitting was one station, there was uh, shearing uh, sheep's wool, um, and I mean like, but everything, every, they turn everything into an experience. So they're there, they take care of you, and everything you see relates. It's like someone sort of sat down and planned like every little thing you do, but it doesn't seem like, you know, you're in... You're in, someone's controlling, you're pulling the strings. It's very like, it's very natural and you're always learning something. We had Spanish lessons. Uh... Yeah, and we usually get those like, uh, like an opening ceremony and sort of like a, a goodbye ceremony as well where you get to see sort of like local dance and music. Yeah, like the inauguration that, that dance. some guinea pig. <laughs> More <laughs> Just some context on the guinea pig. <laughs> the guinea pig is actually like a really cultural dish there. It's kind of like when we have turkey here um, and a big meal or something that's special. So we like to do that with all the groups that go down. And you have, did you guys get to kind of barter for it in the market? We did barter, yeah. Did yes. you get the yes. guinea pigs from the market though? No. Yes. No? Well, we second time. Think we got real pigs. Okay. Yes, we got real pigs. The first time, then it takes the second time. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. So sometimes with our groups, we can actually get them ourselves. We go with... Uh, our group down to the market that you were seeing there, um, and we can let the groups kind of bid barter for them, and we get to bring them back and um, and have them. It's kind of, it's a really big delicacy there, so um, it's pretty cool kind of cultural experience that definitely doesn't happen here. <laughs> but I mean, even if, I don't, know, I don't personally like it, but you know, I try it, and, and that's all that you can really do. At least you say you tried it, so yeah. jump in. <laughs> Any other last questions? Yeah. We good. Uh, I see you. Oh, you're you're like not too sure here. Go for um, it. Um, what's what what's it's like, I know it's a fun trip overall, but what's one of like the most memorable fun things that you did on the trip? 